Hi, I'm Larry Shover, Chief Investment Officer of Solutions Funds Group. I'm joined with Jeff Brown, Director of Due Diligence for Efficient Capital Management. Many of you may not know, but Futures Strategy Fund of Solutions Funds Group allocates its resources to efficient capital management. Now, most of the investing public is starting to become uh, quite aware of what a CTA is but efficient capital does things slightly differently than most people out there. And I brought Jeff along today to answer some of those questions. Now Jeff, one thing efficient capital management does is uses a multi-manager approach. That's something that most of us have never heard of. Most of us are just starting to become aware of what a CTA is. What does a whole multi-manager approach mean? Great, thanks for having me, Larry. Uh, so there's multiple ways you can access the managed futures or CTA space. Um, you can make a single investment in one manager or CTA, or you can take a more holistic approach, more of a portfolio approach, by investing in a number of complementary strategies. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really what a multi-manager approach is all about. Um, you can build that portfolio yourself, or you can have a professional asset manager that's focused on managed futures and managed futures only, do that portfolio construction and monitoring for you to build a balanced portfolio of CTAs. Okay, well, um, the first question I have about that and what most people would be thinking about is, isn't there like a magic number? Because, you know, a lot of us come from like a stock or a beta background where, you know, you can replicate an index, you can repl replicate the S&P 500 with probably less than 100 stocks. Isn't there a point in the multi-manager approach where enough's enough? I mean, there's only so much risk premium out there. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a great question. Um, and you kind of hit on it in the, in the kind of the beta space, or the equity space, uh, the underlying stocks in the S&P 500 share a high correlation, especially in stressed market environments. Mm -hmm. um, in the managed futures or CTA space, uh, it's a very different story. Um, there are uh, groups of managers that are correlated. Uh, managed futures heritage is long-term trend following and those types of strategies do share a meaningful correlation but uh, managed futures has uh, much more to offer than just long-term trend following. And different strategies, whether they're systematically driven or discretionary or these fundamental inputs uh, or technical inputs, uh, can exhibit very low correlations between one another. So um, when you ask, you know, what's the magic number, it's, it's not like an equity portfolio where 30 stocks gets you most of the way there. Um, really, if, uh, if the particular manager investment uh, meets a minimum return threshold and exhibits a very low correlation to the rest of the portfolio and the rest of the managers in the portfolio, um, adding that manager will only improve your risk adjusted return. So as long as you're adding managers that show low correlation um, and they meet your return targets, there really isn't a magic number because of the, the lack of correlation and the diversity that's available in the space. Very good. Mm -hmm. Now, moving away from the multi-manager discussion, you as the director of due diligence, uh, what would you like the average investor, even somebody like yourself in your 401k, what do you think the biggest misunderstanding is in the whole CTA space when it comes to investing in CTAs, whether it be single or a multi-manager approach? Sure, sure. And, um, this has to do with the multi-manager approach um, and this low correlation that we just talked about. Um, and it's easy to say, and we all know it, but uh, investors from time to time need to be reminded that uh, low correlation or no co correlation is not negative correlation. So just because you're flipping two coins, and they should have no relationship to one another, whether they go heads or tails, sometimes you get two heads, sometimes you get two tails. Um, so over the long run, building a portfolio of strategies that have low to no correlation to each other should improve your risk adjusted return over the long term. But at any given moment in time, you could have strategies performing similarly because they're non-correlated, not negatively correlated. Yeah, and, and one of the biggest uh, things that I hear is that, you know, the equity markets go down and all of a sudden people are saying, well, managed futures must have done well today. To your point that you can't look at it day to day, week to week or month to month. But when you said long-term perspective, what does that mean? Does that mean a three to five year time horizon? Or does that mean we should have, as investors, should have like an endowment model where we're looking at 10 years out or 15 years out in our portfolio? Well, for, a, for a managed futures portfolio, uh, we would think that a something closer to a three to five year cycle um, should get you through multiple market environments 
uh, and give the investment a chance to a chance to perform. Um, but uh, of course, the longer the investment cycle, uh, the more opportunity for that non-correlation, especially to traditional asset classes and other hedge fund strategies, gives it just more time to play out and uh, play out in your portfolio. Yeah. Now I'm going to put you in the spot right now. This is a tough one, but the last year has been a struggle for everybody. It really has, especially in the managed futures space where other than the third quarter, uh, it, it's really been a, a stagnant asset class. What, in your opinion, is it going to take for that to change, where all of a sudden managed futures will kick in and do what they're supposed to do? That's a, that's a great question. Um, from our perspective, from my perspective, yep. um, we need an environment where markets are allowed to run and markets are allowed to, to move towards equilibrium. Um, the last year has been a story of uh, markets beginning to move towards equilibrium only to be interrupted by mm -hmm. some, some event um, uh, and some uh, external force. So uh, the closer we get to uh, unfettered market action, um, the better the managed future space will be in our, in our view. Very good. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I'm Thanks, Larry sir. Schober, Chief Investment Officer of Solutions Funds Group joined uh, by Jeff Brown, Director of Due Diligence for Efficient Capital Management. Join us next month when we dig just a little bit deeper into the uh, managed futures mutual fund space.